Hey guys, this is Iggy back again with Dragon Blogger. So today, I'm going to show you guys how to install Windows 10 on the Plexter M6E Black Edition PCIe SSD. So first off, just we're going to take this guy out of the case. This is the retail edition of Windows 10 Professional. All right, this is the little thumb drive they give you. And then I'm just going to plug it into the computer real quick. You can see right over here. All right, that's good to go. And now I'm going to take you to these two monitors here, just so that you can see from two separate screens how everything installs. I have this right now installed on the Sapphire Nitro R9398 gig edition. I'm just going to go ahead, turn her on, and just listen how quiet the system is. It also has the Arctic Freezer 240 liquid cool. So that's on, super quiet. Now just go into your BIOS, minus press delete. So right when you turn on the computer, just start tapping the delete key. All right, you can see I'm in the BIOS, you can see it on both screens right now actually. All right. And I'm all actually overclocked right now to 4.6 gigahertz because I'm doing testing on that freezer liquid cool 240 millimeter radiator. But I'm also going to do the install. I know that this overclock is steady. I've tested it a bunch. But if you're overclocked, I highly recommend you put your BIOS back to defaults, at least for the overclock. You don't want to install on a potentially unstable overclock because then well everything's going to be messed up when you get in Windows so first off to configure your machine to boot to this PCIe SSD you're going to want to go to the boot menu right over here and scroll down mind you you may have a different BIOS than I do or a different board I should say so yours might be a little bit different but I'm going to give you just a general overview on how to do it so we'll go down <clears throat> can see right here actually I already have it as my Plexter but if you didn't we would go into hard drive BBS priorities and press enter so originally um, because I did actually just do this right before just to make sure exactly how to do it I don't want to waste your time previously it was on the Samsung 850 Evo 500 gig and my Plexter was all the way down here so we want to make sure that this is the first device that this tries to boot off. So again, what we're going to do is go to boot option number one, press enter, and select that PCIe Plexter PX AG128M6E. Okay, so what we're going to do here is just press F10 to save and exit, and press yes. All right, so on here, while it's booting, we're going to want to tap the F8 key to get to the boot menu so start tapping F8 as soon as you save and exit from the BIOS okay so here we can see the boot uh, device menu we're going to select the KDI MS FT Windows 10 or UEFI you can do either so I'm going to select the KDI one and press enter <clears throat> so now it's going to start to boot uh, to the to the thumb drive we're going to select here what version of Windows 10 we want to install 64-bit or 32-bit I'm going to want to install 64-bit so press enter Now, this M6E Black Edition that I'm installing onto is only 128 gigs. They do make a 256 and a 510. 
I could be a little bit off on that on the capacity, but I'll put this in the review as well. All right. So we're going to want to select English. And I'm in the US and click next. Now you're going to want to click install now. You also have the repair option down there, but we're not repairing, we're installing. All right. <clears throat> now inside of the package on this little card, you have your key. I'm going to go ahead and enter that real quick. I'm not going to give you my key though. <laughs> so I'm going to just click next on here. You're going to see me at least. So again, here's the card the keys on the back. All right. And then click next. Now you make sure you read this, these license terms. They're incredibly important. I've already read them a few times. Click I accept only if you accept and then click next. Now you're going to want to either upgrade your current install of Windows or custom install. This is to install onto a blank drive. I'm going to install custom install since my M6E Black Edition is blank. Now I'm going to want to look for that drive. So potentially it's this one up here, but I'm going to scroll down my list. All right. Well, it's got to be. It's 128 gigs. This is a mechanical drive, another mechanical drive. This is my Kingston HyperX drive. This is a partition of the 850 Evo drive. This is probably another partition of one of these two over here. And I forgot which one this is, but this is another one. So I'm going to want to install onto this guy. This is my blank PCIe SSD. And while it tells you unallocated space, meaning it's never been installed, and this is my drive zero I selected in the BIOS, then I'm going to want to click next. Now, mind you, by clicking new over here, you can select the partitions if you want a partition, but I'm not going to do that in this video. Now, it's copying over all of the Windows files here. Depending on your drive, it may take a little while, and of course, your USB port. But this is on the M6E Black Edition off of a USB 2.0 thumb drive and connection. So it's going to be relatively quick. Now, mind you, it is replicating because I do have on this guy my DisplayPort cable and on this guy my DVI cable connected again to the Sapphire Radeon R9 390 Nitro card, the 8 gig edition. So you may have more. You may have three or four screens. And right now, since there is no multi monitor display option or setting, it's going to just kind of replicate everything across all the uh, HDMI ports, the display port, and the DVI port on this card. All right, that was a pretty quick install. So now I'm going to go ahead and click restart now or just wait those 10 seconds. Now, because my thumb drive is not my main boot device, it's going to boot directly to the Plexter M6E Black Edition. Now it's just going to go over a few more installation things and setup, but you can already see it's super quick. Just another reboot now.
All right, get going fast. So you can either choose use express settings or customize settings because I'm showing you guys how to install it. I'm gonna go ahead and select customize settings. Many of you may just choose to use express settings, but again, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Express settings, probably ask you one question and then you're on your way. So customize settings, personalization, personalize your speech, typing, input, send contacts, calendars, and details along with other associated input data to Microsoft, no. Send typing inking data to Microsoft to improve recognition, no. Let apps use your advertising ID for experience across apps, sure, on that one, why not? Location, let Windows and apps request your location, sure. Click next. Now, okay, and uh, browser and protection, Use smart screen online services to help protect against malicious contact and downloads in sites loaded by Microsoft Windows browser. Um, I'm not going to use Edge or Internet Explorer 11. You can if you like, but I'm probably going to be using Chrome. So this one I'll just select no. Use page prediction to improve reading. Sure. Connectivity in airport. Automatically connect to suggested open hotspots. I don't have Wi-Fi on this computer, but either way, no. Automatically connect the network shared by your contacts. Sure, you may want to set no to this one just for security, but I'll leave that one on. Send error and diagnostic information to Microsoft. Sure. That one, again, you may want to turn off, but I'm not going to do anything illegal on this PC, so click Next. All right, who owns this PC? I do. And then click Next. Email or phone. I'm going to type in my information here and then, then click Sign In. I'm not going to show you my info, though. Or then you can select No Account and Create One or skip this step. All right, I've entered my information. I click Sign In. Set up a PIN. God, I don't want to do this. In case you forget your password, you have a PIN, but I'd prefer not to, so skip this step. Meet Cortana. If you want a user, go ahead and click Use Cortana. I don't, so I click Not Now. Cortana is just speak rec speech recognition and you know a few other things there. I don't want to use that. Thank you, Microsoft, for setting things up for me that I'm going to change later. This won't take long, and mind you, it really won't take long. Taking care of a few things, and let's start. All right, so we're already in Windows now. Yes, I'll allow my PC to be discoverable by other PCs and devices on this network. All right, so we're in Windows now. Now, mind you, you're going to have a different PC than I do. So you're going to have a bunch of different drivers to install. Um, definitely install them. Then one other thing you are going to want to do is go to Settings, click Start, go to Settings, and then do Updates and Security to get yourself updated to the very latest and greatest of everything Microsoft has to offer. Um, I know that sounds like a, an ad. It sounded like it as I was saying it, but it's true. You're going to want to update your Windows 10 to the very latest and greatest edition. And also, well, if you have Office or any other Microsoft piece of software, this will also update, install and update all of your drivers too. Maybe not all of them, but a lot of them. So it's going to do that. You may not want to. You can disable that. 
but it's there. I just wanted to give you that information. And that's about it. Um, the rest of this is 100% up to you. Again, this is super easy. Maybe when you started this, you would have thought it was difficult. It's not. It's really, really, really not. This is super easy. And, well, if you get stuck, this video shows you almost 100% of all the steps. The next part is just installing drivers. That could be potentially complicated, but easy way to do it. Write down all the piece of hardware you have, your motherboard, your hard drive, your PCIe SSD, your video card, and any other card you may have, just write it down and do a search on their motherboard manufacturer or their manufacturer website. For example, my, my motherboard is Asus, the Sabertooth Z87 motherboard. Look on there on the Asus website. My PCIe SSD is a Plexter drive. I'm going to look on Plexter's drive for that driver. My video card is a Sapphire Nitro R9 390 card. I could look on Sapphire's card, but I'd actually prefer to look on AMD's card on website. They make the chipset. And again, just look on the manufacturer's websites and you'll find all the drivers. All right, guys, this is Iggy with Dragon Blogger showing you how to install Windows 10 on the Plexter M6E Black Edition PCIe SSD. Iggy with Dragon Blogger out. See you guys.